Hello everybody, it's Shannon Rose, and in today's video I'm going to be building my kids Valentine's Day baskets with you, although this is a little bit untraditional because there is only one thing that I bought new. Everything was bought secondhand. Uh, I got a lot, majority of it from the thrift store. Um, if you watched the last vlog, if you're into like budget-friendly things, secondhand, eco-friendly, shopping at thrift stores, you will love those videos, so definitely go check them out. I know by the time you guys see this, it's going to be Valentine's Day, so it might be kind of pointless unless you um, are like me and forgot it was Valentine's Day and you're like, oh shoot, I gotta hurry up and go get something. Um, so you could do this last minute. These are just toy baskets, by the way, and I actually grabbed some toys um, that were in rotation that they haven't seen in a long time to put in their Valentine's Day basket because they probably forgot they even had them. So that's always a good idea if you were on a budget. I haven't curated, like I haven't made these obviously, I just threw everything in the basket, but this is just a basket I already have. It's the fruit basket we use in the motorhome. And then this is the really adorable ribbon. I found a whole thing of this ribbon at the Goodwill bins and I was like so excited when I found it because I just loved the pattern, the colors, I don't know, it just reminded me of like vintage. I, don't know, I really liked it, spoke to me um, and I can use it for Valentine's Day, I can use it for Christmas, birthdays, so many different things and I also can reuse this afterwards as little ties in Snow and I's hair so I think that that's like a fun way to reuse it. This is Storm's Basket and this I actually made him for Christmas and they love it. They actually use this all the time. It's Waldorf inspired and it was so easy to make. It was fun. They actually helped me make them. Um, so it's a fun craft to do and I'm just putting this back in their basket so that they can see it again and get excited for it. He loves Spider-Man. This is also another gift that he got for Christmas but I think because I didn't I didn't want to buy him more Spider-Man stuff. He has plenty but I wanted him to get excited when he saw his basket. He's two, you know what I mean? So these are times that you can put certain things in this, like, you know, to get them excited. So throw that in there. And then these are the new toys, new to us, I should say. I found this at the um, secondhand store. He was watching Thomas the Train on like a show or something. And so I thought this was really cute. I also got him and found these wooden toys, which I was so excited about. Wooden toys are pretty pricey, so I was stoked to find these. They can also paint them or, you know, whatever they want to do with those. Again, this was another gift that was given for Christmas, but I think just like kind of putting it all together, it just looks fun for the kids. And that's the whole point. The whole point is not spoiling them and buying them a million different gifts. You know, each holiday, at least that's not our goal for our family, not judging anyone else. Everybody does their own thing that works for them or what they think is best for their family. And if that's something that's important to you to be able to buy brand new toys, or brand new stuff all the time for your kids like that's totally fine my kids are not going to be upset when they get these baskets they're going to be very excited and that's the whole point of this is for our kids to be happy and excited and have fun things to play with and i think once i figure out how to put it all together in the basket to make it look pretty they'll be even more excited here are a couple other little toys and then this was the one thing that i bought new for my kids this is a little spider-man chocolate you know hearts and then I just added this little bow with that like little ribbon that we got. So usually what I'll do is I will, oh, I forgot to put his books in here that I got him. Whoops. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll add them after. Um, but usually like you put some sort of like stuff inside to like prop everything up. You can put a blanket, you can put a cloth towel. Um, I'm just looking around to see. We're in our RV obviously right now. So let me see what I can find really quick. Okay, I'm back and I got the books that I forgot. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting other things too, but I don't know. Anyway, I got these just because it's what we have in our motorhome. And again, like this is just gonna be used temporarily. So I'm not really too worried about it. So I'm just sticking those in there like that. And then try to build like from the tallest to the shortest in the basket just to make it look pretty. So, um, let's see, how are we gonna do this? Uh, maybe I should, I'm gonna move those towels to the back like that, and then prop up these books. Then I will put Spider-Man here. Grab these little wooden toys. Um, put the train in the front, like so. Um, 
I wonder if this is going to work or not. I guess we could put that there on the side. I'm not good at this, so I'm not like, <laughs> this is not a tutorial of like how to build a beautiful basket because again, I'm not good at it, but I'm just sharing me and how I am building mine for the kids. Um, and then maybe I'll put that there. So that will be Storm's basket. Again, it's not perfect. It's not beautiful. I might even just put these back because there's not room for them now, but ta-da storm's little valentine's day basket can you guys see it <laughs> i think it's gonna make him really happy and he'll get really excited and i will show you guys his reaction when um he gets it like i'll i'll film them opening it probably could have done a better job of this but you know that's all right. Okay. And this is Snow's basket. Again, just another little basket that we already had. Um, put that little bow and then I'll reuse this to put, tie in her hair. Uh, she loves makeup. Definitely my daughter. So I got her this, something I already had. Again, this is kind of a little bit of inspiration for like a budget friendly basket if for some reason you're not making as much money as you used to or you got laid off or you know you just are trying to save more and spend less you're doing a no buy whatever it is I'm just hoping that this video will inspire you to be able to still create something that will make your boyfriend girlfriend kids still be very happy and get excited and have something to give to them so um this she found at the thrift store thought these were really cute she actually picked these out herself because she came in with me and i told her so if you come with me to the thrift store i'm buying stuff for your valentine's day basket so if you see a few things that you like and you want uh, let me know and we'll put them in your basket this was another thing that she was very excited about and she's so cute because she will find something <laughs> like first she saw an easter basket she's like oh i really want this i really want this she's so excited for it and then she saw this and she was like oh i really want this actually i don't want this anymore because i i've taught her like you can pick one thing you know when we go somewhere um and so she was able to pick this little guy i don't know what it is but it's kind of cute and she was very excited about it so it's this little things that make her happy and you know then i found this little wooden musical toy kids really love these like little wooden musical toys um i also found these little wooden toys at the goodwill bins so you know you just sanitize them and clean them pretty good and they're so much fun although we, <laughs> the kids have been using this as a a weapon they're like whacking each other with it and me and i'm and they think it's a sword and i'm trying to teach them that it's <laughs> it's for look this is how you use it it's like a little wooden um putting thing for golfing you know it's funny anyway again this little princess chocolates I think that the kids are gonna be the most excited for when they open up this basket um, and then again some of the same little things that like she got this for Christmas we made this again for Christmas these little crowns but I just think it'll be fun like you know for them to get excited for them all over again and to teach them like to be grateful for what they have right and sometimes even as an adult i need to get better at being grateful for the things i have now right and i know for the kids like they're always wanting more and not being like excited for what they have and so to pull some of the stuff that they already have into their baskets um and then with a little bit of new it kind of helps to teach them like to be excited for those things that they've already have um this is a really cute little book for her basket that we found at a thrift store i love it it's so cute like if you look at the pages it's so cute like that quilt i want in real life like it's like a little cottage and they're in the forest and like this reminds me of our house that we just bought <laughs> our little cottage in the forest and so i just think it was like a really cute little little book with the little bear and nature and the kids love books and i love reading to them so she also picked out another book that was like all pink and it was so perfect for Valentine's Day and I'm like oh that'd be so great for the basket and I now I don't know where it is and then again one of these little wands these are really cool by the way the kids love this I, and the adults love it too it's so much fun to play with um I got it on Amazon or actually I think my mom got it on Amazon I sent her the link to get it oh no I hope they're not like tearing it this thing has gone through a lot so I'm surprised it's not broken already but 
um, what's the brand? Sarah's Silks. It's 100% silk. It's another Waldorf inspired toy and the kids love them. They both got one for Christmas. It's fun for them to go play out in nature and wave around in the woods and everything else. I'm pretty sure I have it linked on my Amazon storefront. Anything that I have that's still available to buy, I'll try to link all this stuff on uh, in the description so that in case anybody wants to get this stuff. Um, these little wooden dolls are the cutest little wooden dolls ever. I love these um, and I am wanting to either thrift or buy like a wooden dollhouse for Snow for her room when we get settled and then also one for Storm's room and I just think having these little wooden dolls will be so fun for her to play with. Um, so yeah, all right, let's build Snow's basket. I don't have a more stuff since we're in the motorhome so I'm just gonna use that and let's see if how we can make this pretty if anybody has any advice on how to like make baskets presentable and cute looking please let me know in the comments because I I can like pick stuff out but I'm not the best at like putting things together you know so I'm open to advice on how to make this look better. I almost feel like this just itself looks good. Like I don't even feel like I need all this extra stuff, but we'll put it in just for funsies. I think you're supposed to do stuff like varying levels, you know, but I don't know why. All right, we'll put some of this stuff back. And there is Snow's Valentine's Day. Ah! basket <laughs> um oh my gosh i think it's super cute i think the kids are gonna be very excited for it they're gonna love it so i'm gonna have travis bring them in and we will see their reactions hey, i got you a feet. valentine's day gift your feet. good job get all the mud off see your valentine's oh, day basket right yeah time. What do you think? Looks cool. Yeah? You want to open it? Clean off the seat, yeah. Okay. Storm, look at your Valentine's Day basket. Do you see it? The Spider-Man one? What's the Spider-Man? Right there. Do you see it? Yeah. What do you think? Cool. Here, here we are. Okay. What do you think? Here. He likes it. Yeah. Snow, did you get a princess chocolate? Yeah. Is that right there? Yeah. Oh, remember this was, you got some makeup snow. Yeah. You got your wooden toys. You got your earmuffs that you got from the thrift store. This little toy storm. You got your Spider-Man. You got your train and your wooden toy. But I knew you guys would be most <gasps> oh excited my gosh. My own chocolate. Here you go, Storm. This one's yours. That was mine? Mm -hmm. Look at it. Chocolate. Yeah, it's our chocolate. I want to eat one. Okay. I want to eat one Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. Can I have a kiss? You yeah. Might, will you be my Valentine? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Will you it's be my Valentine? Dad. Okay, give me a kiss. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love <laughs> and all my positive energy. And I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.